Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, so let's take a peek at what we've got outside in terms of those active fires, as Jessica mentioned, not only Northern California, but we've got some here as well. Let's go out to the Storm Tracker and I'll show you what we've got with those. The logging unit with the uh, uh, Bingham complex, those are the ones closest to us up around Madras. In addition, you can see some of the larger ones that Jessica had mentioned, uh, the haystack back off towards the east, South Fork fire uh, burning, and also to the south of us. Those are the ones that have been impacting our weather here over the past, oh, probably four to five hours which has really brought some of those uh, kind of hazy, sort of hazy, smoky conditions. It's not real thick smoke, but it's enough that it's creating a bit of a milky look to our afternoon Reeves and the uh, Camp Creek fires. Now, check this out. This is really cool. We zoom in on our Storm Tracker 9 live radar sweep down to Northern California. Look at this. Yeah, see those burning? Those are all wildfires, and so that's what's kind of fueling all that smoke as it heads northward uh, as well around Mount Shasta, and you get to Wairika, and then moving northward up into around Medford. This is all being driven again by that big area of high pressure in the Great Basin. The wind's going clockwise around that. That continues to drift northward, in addition not only the high cirrus clouds, but we've seen some of the thunderstorm threat push a little further east today, an indication of possibility of some changing of our upper level pattern too. I'll explain what I mean by that in just a second. It's still warm outside, even with the milky conditions conditions, kind of a hazy sky. It didn't matter. We were up at around 90 degrees. We're in the upper 80s now, Corvallis and Eugene. Certainly much cooler than that. Not getting as much of a northwesterly flow across Corvallis today. 61 in Newport, 59 in Florence. Slightly overcast, as you might expect. 88 in Roseburg, and a little cooler out to Bend and Sun River in the mid to low 80s. Did get into 100 degrees again today in the Dows. Cooler down towards Met Cooler in Medford at 92 because of that hazy condition. Mid-60s out to the coast and touching right around 89 to 90 degrees here across the Willamette Valley. So the next 24 hours look like this. We'll see the intrusion of the marine clouds slowly work their way inland as we go early tomorrow. And then throughout tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny skies. Another afternoon should be the last big afternoon of thunderstorms across the Cascades. And then we'll start to see this. The high drift off to the east just a bit in response to this upper level trough with this little dip in the jet stream that slowly kind of moves in across northern California and the state of Oregon. Now it's not going to be real big and it won't have that much of an influence, but what it will do is it will bring just a bit of a westerly push here. You can see we've got what we call a split flow. Some of the jet stream going south, some of it going north, and that kind of puts us in kind of a zonal flow, which will bring in a little bit of that cooler Pacific air. Not much, but at least enough that it'll take off a degree or two. So we'll still go mostly cloudy tomorrow. Might get some sun breaks by the afternoon in the low 60s out at the coast. In the Umpqua, hot but not as hot and still kind of hazy uh, as the winds aloft will still be out of the south and southeast with that high slowly drifting eastward as well. Cascade should be the last big day of thunderstorms. Temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. We'll hit right around 90 again out into central Oregon. Hazy afternoon thunderstorms back and forth through the afternoon. And finally, here in the Willamette Valley, go kind of a sunny, hazy mix tomorrow afternoon as well. And the temperature is around 90 degrees. For the coast, not much change in the forecast. We'll keep things around the mid to low 60s, some morning clouds and bits of afternoon sun, especially as we get later on in the week. The Umpqua around 90 for the next couple of days, and then you see the sun shines back, but the 90s go away. <laughs> That's nice to see. In the Cascades, one more afternoon of some hefty thunderstorms at times, and then things will quiet down up in the mountains as well. We'll get back to mostly sunny skies. For us here in the Willamette Valley, we'll go 90 for tomorrow down into the mid 80s by Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Nice to see a bit of a break uh, from that heat. And again, one of the other things we'll watch with this chest, too, is the air quality. Uh, if we do get the smoky conditions sure. to stick around the next couple of days, we'll keep a watch on that. It's amazing that you can see it all the way from so far away. Mm -hmm. And you can pick it up on the radar, too. Yeah. That'll give you an indication of just how big those fires are. If we can see it, they're pretty big. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Justin. Yeah. Well, a sweet incentive.